it's Alex, Bath Christian Church, on a Friday, and it's a hot one. The heat index outside, I think, is like over 100, so I hope you are trying to stay cool, stay hydrated, and enjoy your last days leading up to school. Teachers are going back for work days next Monday, and then the students, I think, the following Monday is going to be their first day back, so I hope you're enjoying your last days. I, speaking of enjoy, I hope everybody had a great time riding Rocky Railway the first week of August. We had some great fun here and evenings that I was so encouraged to see students really working together and learning the scriptures from the Bible. And um, the things that we did together just for that time, I, I just enjoyed it so much and I hope that you did too. And we thank you friends for joining us and thank you for all the workers and everything that just everybody poured their hearts into it. And you know, we had some good takeaways from Rocky Railway. We had five PowerPoints. And I hope you keep these PowerPoints as you go into the new school year because they're very valuable. We learned that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Jesus' power gives us hope. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Bold. Jesus' power helps us live forever. Talking about Jesus there and, and him being on the cross and the resurrection and all those things to help us live forever. What a great one. And the last night it was Jesus power helps us be good friends. So you, guess what? All that rolls right into your school year and it helps me too. It helps me on my job. So, you know, we're going to talk about wisdom versus knowledge because we can bring in all this wisdom I mean, knowledge. We can go to the library. I can check out all these books and I can read and I can go online and I can have all this knowledge about these things. And I might have so much stuff in my head, I don't even know what to do with it, right? But there's a difference between wisdom and uh, knowledge. And wisdom is really knowing when to make the right choice, to do the right thing versus the wrong thing. For example, I can show it right here. I've got this cup full of candy. It's got chocolate and other things in it that you guys really like. I know you guys like candy. And you say, I'm going to eat me some candy right now. Or I might say, well, you know what else? I got another choice for you. I've got some cookies. And I know we got some cookie monsters around here. But guess what? There's two cookies in one serving. Two cookies. I'm sure a lot of people could probably eat 10 cookies, right? We could take those choices and say, hmm, that would really be satisfying. I could, ooh, that would, that would help my sweet tooth a lot. But then we could say, you know what? Maybe I need to make the smarter choice and I'm going to opt for the fresh grapes, cold, juicy grapes, maybe an apple, maybe a banana. Mm, those things are really healthy for your body. So that might be the best choice. Sometimes making a choice doesn't necessarily mean it's the one that feels the best to us. It, it just satisfies a craving. It's the thing that maybe we need to think long term. This is the better choice that I can make. And so when we look at the Bible, and the Bible is really the thing that's going to help us understand from the Lord and make those choices that are wise and good and helpful to us, where in Ephesians 5, starting at 15, Paul says, be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Yes, you see it swirling around, so some not so good things going on. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. And that comes through the word and through what staying in touch with the Lord through prayer daily daily you guys I was just so excited to hear you reciting your scripture verses during vacation Bible school I just to see you you doing that just encouraged me and that's why we're in church we want to encourage one another and that's what the Lord wants for us he wants us to make good choices that are, that are for our lifelong benefit. Yes, and you know what? There was somebody in the Bible, you might remember King Solomon, who was given, when the Lord said, what would you like? What, what, what wish can I grant you? A lot of us would probably make, maybe make some 
foolish, give foolish answers about that. But Solomon had given it a lot of thought. He'd been really seeking uh, the Lord's wisdom to make the best choice. And he said, I would like wisdom. And the Lord was very pleased with that. And so what happened is he gave Solomon not only wisdom, but he gave him riches. So Solomon was a very wise king and he was a very wealthy king. So we want to tap into the Lord to know that we're making the best choices and we seek his will in all things and he will grant us that understanding of what we need to do. And part of that, I think, too, is that we want to be tuned in with him through our church family because our church family can encourage us. Maybe they can help us make better decisions. To God brings us people to put around us so that we can just feel God working through them as our church family. Well, you know what? I think that's all I've got for today. I hope that everybody, again, is enjoying the rest of your summer because after summer's over, we're going to be jumping into all kinds of stuff here at church and it'll start rolling before you know it. But we want to invite everybody to Sunday school at nine o'clock. We have Sunday school for all ages here at Bath Christian Church. And we want to invite you to worship. We have worship service that starts at 10 and we have uh, kids church for um, our, our young folks to to attend as well as children's moment and again just kind of you know stay tuned in to what we've got going on here at Bath Christian Church it's going to be a great fall as we make sure we finish strong for 2021 let's go to the Lord in prayer thank you father for your word and for your um, your strength that you have given us through the power of Jesus. Jesus' power pulls us through so many things. And we just thank you for the power of Jesus, the lifeblood, that the, the blood that has covered us, Father, from head to toe, that we can just thank you, Father. Thank you for everybody who came to Vacation Bible School, Lord. We pray for everyone who attended, and we just lift them up as they start a new school year. Be with the teachers as they start a new year next week with their um, with our work days, Father, and be with our church family for those that are on the prayer list. We have a baptism Sunday, Lord. We'll just pray for our baptism candidate and their family, Father. We want to just pray that you would guide us and direct us in our choices, Father, that we would seek you to understand um, the differences and some of the things that we're confronted with that you'll help us know right from wrong and again make the choices that are pleasing to you father and that provide um, lifelong benefits to us lord and we love you in jesus name amen and amen and we'll see you this sunday and as always bring a friend bye-bye